question about that and maybe spring awakening. Sure. How do you think hair helped to pave the road for controversial musicals today? Uh, well, I think it just um, it allowed people on stage to be a lot more free than they had in the past. And there were certain stereotypes about what musical theater was before this, and I mean, I mean, of course, people get naked on stage, but beyond that, it's just rock music. Yeah, that's really groundbreaking. Do you think the show has impacted public perception? Yeah, I think it does. I think it does a lot. Yeah, because show in particular is reliable. You know, when it first came out, there was a lot of, uh, uh, you know, a lot of work with the quality um, of the gay writers and things like that. So yeah, this, I think people leave this show feeling they want to make a difference. Um, has it affected you personally or influenced you in any way? I mean, anything that I do, any piece of art influences me. And especially, I do this eight times a week, so it happens. Not only does it influence me, but it is me right now. So yeah, usually. Um, you also have Spring Awakening. How do you think that show changed the public's view of art? Well, it was such an original piece. I mean, it was such a, it was such a strange... Um, and it's very similar to hair in that it just kind of like bent everything you thought was moving the theater to the other direction. So, yeah. um, where do you see the future of Broadway going in light of all these controversial shows? Well, I don't think anyone's trying to be controversial. I just think people are trying to be honest. So, to me, it's uh, controversy is an after effect of honesty. I think controversy is caused by people watching something, not by the people writing it. I think as long as people can be honest, you know, maybe it'll be controversial. Isn't that cool? Can I grab another picture with you? My eyes were closed. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah.